Oh, here we go. Here we go. I didn't mean for this to happen. Boom. Plowing right through. Pieces all over the road. Wow. Hello, everybody. Grace and We're here checking out a game for the channel called Rolling Line. It's in VR. So Rolling Line is looking to be the premier model train building piloting creative style of game. I have links in the description below if you want to check it out. The developer was cool enough to get me a key early so I could check it out. It's coming out in a couple days. All right, I'm really curious if I touch the power lines. Okay, so this game does have basically everything that you want from a model train game. You get to build your model trains. You get to have all kinds of different paints and skins and items and landscapes and trains and carts and everything. But this is what's really neat. What's cool is not only do you build the entirety of your land, but you can diminish yourself and become a miniature and walk around in the full size landscape besides being able to look over it. And you get to pilot all the different trains. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot over here. I went through the tutorials just kind of teach you how to build stuff and how to pilot the trains. Let's go into a new game. Welcome. It's a rolling line. I'm gonna tell you, this is cool. Now, from this perspective, you may think to yourself, oh, it's just like a city. You know, it's just a big train city. But check this out. Look at this. It's legitimately a model train. Oh, my hand got caught in the water area. It'll be fine. Come here, hand. Can you not get out of the water? This is odd. This is embarrassing. Okay, it's fine. My hand teleported out of the water. So, you can see it's legitimately like a model train style with all the different uh, switches over here to turn on and off the different railroads. You have the controller here that you can use to operate all of the different trains and stuff like that. But let's say, let's say, that's, that'll be fine. Let's say that you don't want to do it that kind of way and you want to operate the train yourself. You absolutely can. First off, you can make yourself small anywhere you want and now you're inside of the train yard. That is cool. Obviously, if you want, you can kind of like lift yourself around with the thumb buttons or if you want, you can also teleport all over the place like so. There's the train full size. And if we want to get inside of the train, we can zap ourselves inside the train. And now we get to legitimately, let's get it going over here. I want full steam ahead. I, are we fine? We're probably fine. I'm sure there's nothing in the way. Now, you know, Gray, we're going to have to put some stuff together where we probably cause some accidents. I'm not going to lie. Let me go ahead and hop out of here so we can look. And here's our train. Our train's doing its thing. It is going to run completely at- <laughs> Didn't mean to do that! Didn't mean to do that! Oh, mother of God. Okay. Um. Well. Whoops. Uh. So, there's, uh, crashing physics in the game. Didn't know about that until just now. Uh. So, you know what? That's no big deal, though. Remember, this is a model train. Now, if you want, you can slap your trains around. Like, your hand has physics. It doesn't just float through the different trains. So, if we want to, we can grab our trains- we can go ahead and lock it on down, and then we can put... I just duplicated that train. We don't need a secondary train. You can go ahead and lock your trains together like so. There we go. Everything's fine now. I'm going to leave that like it is, and we're going to go. And I want to see this boat over here. Can you, like, move this? Or, like, if I touch this, can, can I grab it? Or is this, like, one giant structure? It almost seems like this is one giant structure. I want to run something into this. So... I haven't messed too much with the different styles of tracks. Wait a minute. There's tracks going into this boat. Hold on a minute. I need to see something while my hand continues to deformate from my body. All right. We got a train right over here. It's looking like it's set to go inside of the massive cruise ship. I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to put this over here for right now just so it's out of the way. All right, let's hop into our train because I like to pilot the trains like legitimately and we're gonna go slow on this because I'm pretty curious now You have all of your different switches in here as well. I legitimately don't know which switch this one is Let's go check it out. And make sure that we're on the right way Oh by the by you can flip the switches yourself if you want to with your finger You can just grab the switches and mess with them this way if you feel the need. All right, let's roll All right so far so good I have no idea what's gonna happen over here. So far, so good. Into the tunnel. <laughs> what is at the end of this madness? Oh, it's a wall, and there's a giant cr <laughs> There's a giant crash into the cruise ship. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we've just about crashed all of our trains. Now, there's one over here, and there's one over here as well. 
Now, if you want to legitimately start building some stuff, you have drawers over here with all the different tracks that you could want. There's actually a lot of drawers. Now, you can just teleport, like I said, if you like as well. There's actually a whole bunch of drawers with a lot of different things. Look at all this. This is all our different engines and stuff like this. And the engines are, like, really detailed. Like, they look really good. Oh, you, you sit there. Look at this. It's a brand new map. It's cool. There's a, um, there's a tunnel right over here, it looks like. Yeah, all this tunnel is interconnected. And then it goes through this wall into your next room with even more stuff. It looks like this is a winter scene. This is pretty cool. Now, this is supposed to take after like New Zealand, but it's time for us to build some tracks. This does look legit. Trust me. I mean, it looks good. Ooh, holy cow. Oh, oh, there's a train going over here. Is it coming to a stop? It is. Look, the world's working. Hold on. That's really cool. There's a little thing over here and everything. So is this train like completely automated or it looks like it's going very, very slow. I kind of want to know where this train goes. Hold on. I've crashed everything else I know, but it is automated. It's kind of moving itself. Let's go ahead and pump it up real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Can we see out the... Yep. There we go. Now, I kind of wonder, can you... Oh, you can ride on top of the trains. Oh, my life is complete. That's awesome. This is really cool. We're going to have to make some train, some train jumps and stuff like that. Are we coming up to the end of the road? Doesn't look like it. Hold on. I wonder if I can teleport. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, you can hang on the back of the train too. Wow. Like, man, I'm really impressed. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and Keanu Reeves over here, climbing on the train like it's no big deal. Here we go. There we go. And there you go. You can see all your areas. We got to put some cars in front of the tracks too. Hold on. Oh, look at all the scenery and stuff. I'm just going through here, checking all these different boxes out. There is stuff for everything. Look at this. There's like all kinds of different plant life and stuff. And you can color all this, by the way. It's, this is the default color, but you can color all this as well. Um, you'll see stuff like editable track, editable details. That allows you to take the track apart and put it together and do all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, look at the size of this one. Hold on. Let's, um, uh, let me just, I'm going to put this here for right now. I want an engine for this because I want to try something real fast. I want this engine though. Now you can flip stuff uh, when you're holding it. If you want, if you hold down the trigger button and then you press the things over here, you can flip it back and forth, but I only need it to go like this right now. All right, let's roll this back. I want to hook this up. There we go. Okay, I think that this giant... Oh, there's a day-night cycle. <laughs> hold on. I think that we can make it so that's... I mean... Being at nighttime would be pretty cool, but I think we can also keep it so that it's always daytime. Let me hop in here, turn the headlights on, the cab lights on, because we're going to need that. All right, so let's say that you happen to have some, uh, some fallen tree. Did that just snap? Can you remove all these trees? Hold on. Did that just snap way over here? I feel like it did. It did. It snapped way over there. All right, let's say that you have some fallen trees down, like so. Now, I think that you can just hover over this stuff and clone it if you want to, and you can. So you can make all kinds of trees if you really like. Okay, so we have a bunch of fallen trees. We got one big piece over there. Let me turn on the lights so that it's fully daytime so we can really watch what happens here. All right, I turned on thunderstorm. I turned on midday and thunderstorm because I'm curious what that does. Now, if we want to, we can grab our tool here, the, uh, the remote control. And then if we touch a uh, particular train, we can make it go, I do believe. All right, so we have a new locomotive. Now, I think if we just... Yeah, there we go. That's how we get it to go forward and backward. All right. All right, here we go. It's rolling. It's rolling. And what does it feel about these trees over here? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just pushing them right out of the way like it's no big deal. Although, a bunch of the carts got derailed somehow. Oh! All the weather effects are starting to come in now. We're riding the train with the weather effects. You can see the smoke and the fire actually coming out of the train, which is really cool. Now, if I remember correctly, there was another train around here that I made going. So I put one train going this way, this train going that way. There's a train derailed over here. I don't think I did that. Oh, look, there's water going across the tracks and stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I didn't mean for this to happen. Boom. Plowing right through. Pieces all over the road. Wow. All right, I guess it's no big deal. We managed to catch right up to this train and hook on it and hook onto it, it looks like. Now I wanted to mess with some of this other stuff too. Like we have all these different buildings. 
and whatnot that we can look at. Now, I wonder exactly, like, how does it snap on? Like, if you're gonna add this to something, does it depend where you put it? Does that, does that, like, depend on exactly how it lays? Like, over here, we have all this different, there's just shrubs and all kinds of stuff everywhere. But, like, if you wanted to, could you put this anywhere? Like, could I put this here, for example? Oh, you sure can. And it just fits itself right into the scenery. And you can pick it up and move it if you want to. Again, you can use your side buttons to, like, rotate stuff. So, like, if I want it more like that. There we go. So you can put it like this. Hold on, I want to see what it's like. And now we can go down. This is so cool. And now you actually get to look at the entire 360 degree little area that you made. Which is kind of slick. So this little area is over here. It kind of can teach you. We can go ahead and edit it and then make it editable, the uh, the details and the track. This is kind of like to teach you how you can color everything. So you have all your different color palettes here. And this stuff, I mean, here, watch. You can just, you can color anything. So there, you have like a little bit of grassland. And you'll see, a lot of it's just a mixture of different colors. But you can color other stuff too. So like you got your tracks over there. I accidentally just colored one. Let's go ahead and flip through here. Um, so if you want your tracks, I don't know, just like a gray color or something like that. Because gray is fantastic. You could click on your track and color it gray. You can see that one's like a little bit different now than the rest of the tracks because we colored it. Now I wonder, can you color all the train pieces? So if I put a train down over here and we go and mess around with the color right quick. I want a different color than this green. Actually, this green. This stuff's like way in the way. Let me throw you guys over there. Like how about a blue? Can I color it with this blue, I wonder? Hold on, let me... No, I can't seem to change the color of the train. I can definitely change the color of the terrain. So now it's like we're over a giant stretch of water. Let's see what kind of other stuff we have. Tracks... Oh, hold on. Were, were those... Were those like, um, broken tracks? Hold on. So is this like a painting tool? Like you can use this to paint tracks and make them look broken? Oh, you can! <laughs> okay. So here's all your different tracks. All kinds of machinery. Look at this. Big cranes and stuff like that. What else we got hanging out over here? It's a couple of engines and stuff. Carts and engines. This is like, um, it's like a little station. I'm just gonna go ahead and like snap it down real quick over there. And then palm trees and look at the little umbrellas and stuff like that. More villas and buildings. A ton of like in this is almost like a, um, like a shopping center. It almost looks like this is, um, like a motel or, uh, like a condominium thing. And this, I almost feels like maybe like a strip mall or a shopping center, but this may just be kind of like a place where you can live as well. What else we got over here? Tons of crap. Tons of forests and rocks and stuff like that. Oh, here we go. That's what you want to run over. Got pieces of wood. You can put that right on top of your line over there. Oh! A plane? Hold on. Oh, does it- can- can you make it fly? Hold on, I wanna see. Like, do the props spin or anything? Oh, oh, it's- it's on the ground, but I want it in the- Uh. What's that? what's outside of the map? Alright, I was just curious. <laughs> okay. This is cool. I put the plane on like a- on like a ledge over here, and we're on the plane. Oh, is there like a cockpit and stuff? I haven't looked. Oh no! That now I'm not gonna lie. That would be awesome if you could get inside the plane and somehow drive this thing too. But yeah, look, I put the plane on this little uh this silo over here, and you could get down inside the plane. Just hanging out inside the amazing ship here with my plane sitting on the silo. Oh man, we're gonna have to have a plane crash into one of the trains. A couple of trains sitting on the bottom of the ocean. This is what happens whenever Gray gets involved. All right, I'm just building a giant train over here. All right, the weather has turned sour. Thunderstorms and lightning and all kinds of whatnot in the sky. This plane's gonna have to deal pretty soon, though. All right, train's coming. Plane getting shot out of the sky. Oh, it didn't really crash as hard as I thought it would. Get him! No! Gray doesn't want too many things in life. He just wants this plane to take this train down. Wow. Well... I wasn't expecting such a beatdown from the train. Wow, this train got really long. I didn't actually think I would make it that long in the end. All right, we're gonna have to do train versus train. The wreckage of everything that has stood in Gray's way before. That train versus that giant train. What will happen when the two behemoths impact? Okay. I hadn't actually planned on this, but we made up with a T-bone. No, a bear miss. Okay. Let me, uh, let me get everything lined back up again and see if we can get these trains to go ahead and meet. Alright, we're gonna try and make this happen. 
one way or the other. I'm putting together this train over here because I like the way it looks. There we go. Just gonna snap those together like so. And I think everything is pretty much together now. So we got one train over there and one train over here. I just need to put... I can use this one, I guess. I was gonna say, I just need to put an engine on it. All right, here we go! Oh! <laughs> what happened there? The train just busted straight through. Whoa! There we go, there we go. All right, come on, take everything else out. Okay, oh, yep, Alrighty. Didn't expect that to happen. Yep, just shove you out of the way. The train crashing physics in this game are hilarious. Anyway, guys, as I go ahead and surf on this train here, what do you guys think of rolling line? There is so much to this game. I mean, I can only scratch the surface so much just playing around, showing you guys some of the scenery, some of the tracks and stuff like that, how the tracks kind of work, putting the trains together, kind of looking at the physics and stuff like that. Very cool game. Love how you can go in between all the different items like this, too. That is just freaking slick. Anyway, guys, feel free to let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>